I am Dr. Winifred Mwenu Mulwa, a 2019 cohort or WSD Ali Career Fellow, and I am currently a lecturer at Egerton University, which is based in Nakuru, Kenya. By specialization, I'm a computational physicist working on magnetic refrigeration by use of magnetocaloric effects, which means energy conversion application in the camel milk preservation. The northeastern part of Kenya is characterized by dry condition leading to low production of food and especially to the livelihood as camel milk is the main source of protein and income. The work that I'm currently doing is to develop a refrigerator which will not use wind power, it will not use solar energy, and it will not use hydroelectricity. It is going to use magnetic field to provide cooling effect. Therefore, this research aims at preserving this precious commodity, which is camel milk, to avoid its spoilage, improving their quality of food and their means of income. The target group is marginalized camel farmers. They are actually excited about the technology. They have given me a room, as I have said, and they are saying it as a savior because they have been paying 1,030 US dollar per month for the electricity which they use in maintaining the milk at four degrees Celsius. When I install for them this magnetic refrigerator, they will not be using any money. They will not be paying any money for their electricity because once I install the powerful magnets, I only need to change them after their magnetism goes down. And this is about after five years. So it is very, very economical. What I mean by magnetocaloric effect is the alternatively magnetization and demagnetization of a refrigerant when it is inside a magnetic field and when it is outside a magnetic field. When it is inside a magnetic field, the refrigerant becomes magnetized and it causes cooling. When it cools up to the required temperature, then it pulls itself outside the magnetic field and the cooling stops. After the cooling stops, the, the temperature starts to go up. But now the refrigerator pushes itself back to the magnetic field and cooling starts again. That is how we maintain the temperature inside the refrigerator. This technology is not only applied in the preservation of milk only, it can be applied in preservation of other food products. So we are not confining ourselves in camel milk preservation only. The refrigerator that I will develop will be installed in Isiolo and Masabit. The reason why I chose Isiolo, it is a marginalized area and the temperatures are very, very high. So the camel milk gets spoiled because of the microbial multiplication due to the high temperatures in Isiolo and Masabit. Camel milk and us get surprised to see a woman in the field and solving their high cost of electricity problems. But I, I tell them this is their savior when it comes to saving of energy power. So being a woman is not a barrier. They have accepted it and they are ready to work with a woman. 10 to 15 years from now, people, not only in Kenya, but in the African continent, they will switch to magnetic refrigeration. Reason being, the, the ozone layer depleting has caused a lot of dry season. Therefore, hydroelectricity will go down. Solar energy is not very reliable. It can be cold today, it can be hot tomorrow, so it, it is not reliable. But with magnetic refrigeration, the milk will, will remain cold forever with no fluctuation. So it is very reliable and very cost-effective.